a fork, giant pan. You know, they have all these, like, pans and skillets and shit. But where, what do they cook them on? Right? Where's their oven? Where's their stovetop? What are you doing, Dwemer? I guess they all disappeared before they could make that advancement. <laughs> When we had last left the last Dragonborn, they had traveled up to the frozen wastes of Winterhold and entered the College of Winterhold, where they spoke with the local librarian, Urag Groshub, who did reveal some ancient tales of the Elder Scrolls. Where could they find one? How could they be used without destroying one's own psyche irrevocably? It was unknown, but one thing was known, that nearby, an old ancient academic, Septimus Cygnus, did wait, or did do studies, up even further through the icy glaciers of the north. And it was there that the last dragonborn traveled and trekked through those frigid wastes to meet with Septimus, to receive his wisdom and information on these Elder Scrolls. However... Septimus Cygnus turned out to be a complete dingus. He was a madman. <laughs> and he said to the dragonborn, Go check out this shit <laughs> really deep down in the earth. Some old Dwemer ruins. Yes, go down there. And then perhaps I'll be able to help you if you can help me. And the last dragonborn agreed and decided, hey, let's go do that. This is the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Welcome back. Zoom. There we go. And there he is down there, pacing, chilling out. You only have one option in this entire weird little hollowed out igloo thing. Do you think he hollowed this out himself? With like wizard's magic or something? I don't know. Let us head on up and out. There we go. I suppose that's a real danger, huh? Have to worry about wizards melting all of the ice. Geez, some, like, <laughs> global warming or climate change. Wizard-induced. Just accidentally shoot a whole bunch of errant fireballs into a massive glacier and start melting it. Ooh. That's why, uh, the folks at Castle Karstag, they got pretty pissed about that. Good lord. That's why the Nords now have a superstition, you know. They're not, uh, they're not too sure about this magic business, you know? <laughs> all, all completely true lore. All right. Well, fortunately, holy shit, the location that we have to go to, Alt-Ond, it's right up here. For whatever reason, I remember it being, like, sort of in the dead center of Skyrim. But maybe that's just a... That's a branch, so to speak, you know what I mean? Okay. Let us head on all the way up here, past the dead horkers galore. Good lord. What is even our best route of approach here? Hmm. Maybe we just run it, right? We maybe just run through there, right? We're good enough to go, right? We can maybe do it. We should probably take a pit stop, though, inside of an inn, right? As long as we make ample use of various resting areas around town, we should be okay. Because one of the big concerns about the cold is going around in the cold when there is super freezy water, right? Oh shit, this is not where we need to be at all. What even is this place? Should we go in this place or hold off for now? I don't know. Oh look, there's a flying axe. <laughs> What's up with that? What is that? Ancient Nord? Let's see, let's give it a scream. <laughs> it's still up there. How about some telekinesis? Nope. <laughs> it's just up there. Oh shit, they're shooting at me. Hey. Where are you, you dickhead? Good lord. What the heck? You know what? Fuck it. We're going inside of this place, huh? F it. Let's do it. I'm going in. Let us get our ebony battle axe at the ready. Ooh, dodge and weave. <laughs> Got him in one. Okay. Let's see... Yeah, some ancient Nord junk. 
do the quick save just in case. Sky Temple Ruins. I don't remember. Is this important for anything? I don't know. Oh god. Maybe it's part of like the Mages Guild and we shouldn't be doing this, right? I could see that being the case. Yeah, maybe we should, maybe we shouldn't do this. This might be part of the College of Winterhold quest line. Now that I think of it. Yeah, let's let's hold off for now. Let's not do that just yet. All right. Fair enough. Instead, let's see. Can we jump down and somehow navigate underneath all of that? I don't know. I've never had to ever climb back up from this point. You know? Oh jeez. Here. Activate Fight. this. <laughs> there we go. Good enough. And then should be able to run across this up and over here. Look at that. Jeez. I feel like you should really be building some additional supports or whatever. <laughs> Look at how precarious this is. And you know what? If I were living in solitude, I'd be looking at the College of Winterhold with some shifty eyes like, mm, <laughs> could this be us in a few years? <laughs> All right. Let's see. What's over here? Got some fun clams. Ooh. So much fun we're having with these clams. Good Lord. How do I get back up? I don't know. Am I going to freeze to death before I get back up? Let's see. Let's get some super speed going on. There we are. We should be fine. We should be able to make it. Right? <laughs> Fingers crossed. Good lord, look at how fucking blustery it is. Ugh. Jeez. Some sort of weird wolves coming out of the woodwork. Oh jeez. Let's get our actual weapon that we want here at the ready. Give it a swing. Sorry, dude. Okay. Eat. Heal. Good stuff. Okay. Should we go around down, or should we try and loop up? Let's try and loop up. Right? No. Go. Look, that seemed to do good. Oh, God. <laughs> oh god maybe we make a pit stop at like solitude we take a oh shit no we can't right because there's no carriage out here god winterhold sucks ass oh man i'm freezing oh jeez. good lord what is that down there it's a bunch of fucked up animals they're all pissed as shit i thought it was a bear but it's actually a horker bear of the sea go. Let's give this a few swings. Good. Gotcha. Got you. And you. Whew. Fucking A. Oh shit, there's a fuck ton out of nowhere. Oh, run! I can't stay to fight him. It's too fucking treacherous. The health is not looking great. It's going down rapidly. Good God. Thank goodness they're slow as hell. We need to get to this ruin. Is this the one that we went to with the Mages Guild? Yeah, Sarthal. Okay. Or we could loop around to Winterhold itself. Let's see. Can we loop from here? Can I do a loop? I might be able to. Yeah, let's, let's try and make the loop. Because I forget, is it warm inside of there? Oh, shit. The troll menace. Oh! Nah! Fuck off! Leave me! Kershaw, where are you? Good lord. Look, that should mess up their pathing. <laughs> A few rocks, they'll see then. They won't know what the fuck to do. They're just gonna start spinning around in little circles. All right. Look, there's a goat lord. We need you as well for our crafting. Oh god, am I going to be able to get to town? Nah! Fuck the goats. Fuck the goats. I'm freezing my ass off out here. Oh dear lord. Am I about to fucking die? Oh god. Ultimate stam. Sprint speed on. 
Oh, there's a... There's a building! Please! I'm gonna freeze to death! Jesus! Oh, God! Oh, no! Oh, I forget. You go so fucking slow. Please, rub your torch all over me. Rub your torch! Oh, God. Is this... Is this good? The Ottomans... Oh, thank goodness. We're safe. Oh, the fire. Oh. <laughs> sorry, miss. Don't mind me. I'm fucking dying. Just about anything if it's oh, sorry about your tusk. Keep that in mind, will you? Oh, good lord. Oh, it's coming back. <laughs> oh, that was close. Oh, that was so close. Good lord. Hey, do you have anything good? I do what's necessary. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Let's see. Nah, uh, you don't really have anything of value. Or at least value to me. Fair enough. Good day. Do I have salt on me? Can I cook anything up? Let's take a look. Oh, I do. Make some of that. Horker loaf. Good. Okay. Ah. <sighs> Jeez. What an ill-conceived plan. I could have sworn we had an extra unit on Gordon, but I guess I never filled him back up. Let's see. Yeah, shit. Good lord. Camping supplies. Do I have any on me? No, I don't. I really do not. Karja, do you happen to back. have any? I don't think you do. I will show them some of your birth. No. Extremely don't. Kajit will follow. Alright. Let's just warm up here. You feel warmer, but still chilly. I mean, I could throw on some, like, warm clothes. Do I have any? I don't know. No, I don't. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> That's not good. Okay. I mean, our steel soldier stuff is actually kind of warm, isn't it? Okay. There we are. Yeah, I know. It's it's weird for me, too. But, hey. What can you do, really? <laughs> what can you do? Let's see. Where should we go from here, though? Uh, we should, we should rest, actually. It's night now. Remember, we should keep to our plan. Yeah, let's rest in one of the, in the inn here. For the night. Sorry, car show. I need to snooze and lose. Okay, the frozen hearth. Good. Welcome. Let me know if you want. Me. Do I still own the I bed here for whatever? Here How come you're in Winterhold? My pa says people like you are the reason no one lives here anymore. Whoa! My pa says elves are bad and not to trust them. <laughs> this My guy's gonna kill you. Long behind <laughs> me, but I prefer to stay close by. Don't you Dagor sell shit? And I yeah. have an understanding. He gives me privacy, and I make sure my experiments don't blow up his inn. So, you wish to master the arcane arts? What an odd relationship they must have, huh? Okay. Do you have anything of interest to me? Not really. Here, can we pawn off some trash? How about... Let's see. Five hundo-ish? There, take one of these. There we go. Good enough. All right. Hunt the elf again. It's just children playing, Harren. I wouldn't fret over it. Boys will be boys. I'm not fretting. I don't want Irid playing those sorts of games. All right, all right. I'll speak to her. Oh, Irid. Wait, what was your name, kid? Hey, oh, it. you're a sewer. Hmm? Oh, cool. If there's anything you need, <laughs> just let me know. The uh, apple and tree situation. Okay, gotcha. Let's see. Can I get a room? If your business with the college, you're welcome to stay here. It's where most of our business comes from, in fact. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room. Is it this one like over this here? Way. Ah, here we are. Okay, let's go for 12 hours. Good. Oh, man, we really should have brought some camping supplies with us, but holy fuck, we're dumb as shit. And we can't even go and pick some up real quick, either. <laughs> Because <laughs> there's just no... Let me know if there's anything else you need. No fast travel out here, huh? Yeah. Taking me up on my offer, eh? Well, isn't this Good. Thing? What are you talking about, Anthir? I'm assuming today, you're here for more than a social here? call. Down to business, eh? Oh, you're the... You're the... What do you call the fence here? How's business? Business? Oh, I'm sorry. Business is actually gone. inconsequential to me. I share little of your lust for coin. However, as promised, I'll still be more than happy to take any stolen merchandise off your hands. Who do you sell it to? How do you get rid of it up here? Usual guild rate. Let's take a look at them. Alright, yeah, let's take a look at them. Should we buy some hearts? 
I feel like we should. Right? Let's buy some of this junk. There we are. Haggling, water breathing, prolonged invis. Yeah. Let's sell some potions here. There we go. This resist poison junk. There we go. Oop. How about this one? Nah. Let's see. Sort by value. Yeah, we're already sorted by that. Oh, here we are. Yeah, this poison of frenzy. Perfect. Good. Thanks, dude. Give my regards to Carlia if you see her. Okay. Let's head on out. Here we are. Okay. It's I've still a little chilly, but hey. Not too bad, right? Okay. I think we just do a straight shot to Alftond, right? I think we just Keep do that. Mind, let's get Prior Mabel going over here. Also, let's chow down on our Horker loaf. There we are. Fortunately, we have plenty of food, so long as Alfton is, like, you know, nice and warm. I think it is, right? You know, of course it is. Of course it's going to be nice and warm. Jeez. You know, the Dwemer, they weren't... <laughs> yeah, who knows what the fuck kind of environments they like. They like being underground. They like looking at fucking rocks. Good God. All right. Good Lord, we are really just going the wrong direction here, aren't we? Let's see. If anything, we should take a right immediately up through this. Yeah. Sorry, bear. Hasta la vista. Good. Up through this fun arch. Oh, look. You're still here, huh? What a dick. Should I give him a smackaroony? Nah. We should keep moving, right? Unless we get caught with our pants down in the cold. Yeah! Got you! Okay, over here, there's a little cave. We could hole up inside of that if we wanted. Oh, shit. Dickhead. Ugh, gotcha. All right. Oh, look, some goats. Goat horns! I need them! Sorry, goats! Sorry, goats. Oh, sorry. Very sorry. There we go. This is actually worth it. We need so many goat horns, it's gotta be said. Okay. Goat horns! Wow, it's only one? Okay. <laughs> There's not even any on that one. Okay. Well, not ideal. Okay. Let's see. Where's this cave entrance at? It's, it's like right over here. Let's go check it out. Huh. Oh, it's up there on that shelf or whatever. Above these rocky crags. Okay. Let's take a look. Another fucking snow troll. Frost Troll. Polar Troll. Oh, great. This is some... Oh, no. It's a sightless pit. Okay. Jeez. Is this even going to be warm? Oh, shit. Look at Prior Mabel go. Okay. Yeah. Fuck. Look at me go. Yeah. Getting the shit beat out of me. Oh, oh! Got the shit beat out of me. Good lord. Maybe we don't even go in there. Oh, shit. We're all the way back here. Let's see, do we have a quick load or a, um, auto? Oh shit, just out. <laughs> just outside, there, we'll load it. Fine. <laughs> oh god. Okay. I'm assuming you're here for more than a social call. Oh shit, we're slowed down a bit as well. Let's eat the loaf. Good. Business, we equip eh? that. Okay, yeah, we'll just skip over that shit. We need to just do a straight shot just for Alfton. Fuck all the other miscellaneous adventure. We can hit it up later when we have a camping supply with us or something, just in case, right? It's far too dangerous at the moment. Okay. Head on out. Oh, look. Did the bear not spawn in? I don't think so. Good lord. So did they also make teleportation illegal or whatever, right? I don't know. Or did they, did that magic also get unlearned? You know, people talk about the levitate and all that, but hey, where's the teleporting, right? Shit. Be good to be able to have like Urog just teleport me over somewhere. What school of magic would that even technically be? I don't know. Okay, let's do a quick save. Alteration maybe? Because you're altering the world, right? If telekinesis is alteration. 
maybe moving a body from one point in time to another? Or not point in time, uh, from one place to another? I'm not sure. Okay, good lord. Bunch of fucked up animals coming out to say hello. It's fine. Look, there's our destination right up ahead. We aren't completely frozen yet either. Look, this is good. This is good. We're doing good. <laughs> All right. Little bunny rabbit over there. Okay. Good. Do rabbits like to chill out on, on glaciers? Maybe in like these rocky mountainous areas, sure. Right. All right. Now look at this. A bunch of people went to build houses, but then they forgot how to do it. Just midway through. Tragedy. <laughs> All right. No, they also disappeared, <laughs> just as the Dwemer did. <laughs> they vanished. It was so mysterious. The curse, or whatever it was, it carries on. Don't ever want to do any of that. Ooh, Expedition Manifest. Let's give it a quick read. Because this is relevant to the area, isn't it? Yeah, I think we find a few of these here, right? Expedition Manifest. We've managed to secure the site and hold off any others who may try to steal our discoveries so far. Especially those from the College of Winterhold who seem to think the glory of exploring every ruin should be theirs alone. The crew for our expedition is as follows. Sula Trebatius, myself, expedition leader. Umana, my constant companion and bodyguard. Veli, a mage not associated with Winterhold, took some time to find. Endrost, a fellow explorer of some local renown. Yag, Yag, a great brute of a woman hired to keep the rest of the labor in check. Jadar and Jazar, two Khajiit brothers, hired as labor. Need a couple more laborers. Getting through the ice is proving difficult. We've set up a shelter. We've set up shelter and scouted the area. The small ruins on the lower plateau of the glacier don't seem connected to the main structure. And we haven't managed to find a way into the tower parapet we've found here. Yag mentions spotting a fissure in the glacial wall that may lead into the ruins, so we are going to try to find a way to get down there with the gear. Looks like a storm is coming. Okay. Let's see. All this. Oh, jeez. Good. There we are. Okay. Cool. Do you think with all the journals that you find in the wild, do you think people who start writing journals, they think that maybe someone will just find it when they're dead? <laughs> right? 90% <laughs> of all journal owners in Tamriel end up dead. <laughs> More on this at 11. Let's head on up here. Go over this way. Should we go inside of this? I don't think... Yeah, we do have to enter from the bottom, right? This is totally removed. This is the parapet, right? We have no access to this yet. Okay, cool. Good, good, good. Look at that. Some kind of fun lighthouse over there as well. Uh, neat. Okay. We'll have to check that at a later date because we're, like, freezing. The weather is not ideal for what we're doing. Look at that. There's a little situation over there. Should we investigate? Let's hit up a quick save, and we might be able to speed ourselves over there. Yeah, nah. There we go. Beautiful. How about this? Ooh. Alftond Ruin Tower. Okay. Ooh. Cool. Okay. Dwemer Scrap Metal. Let's see. Will I remember? Will I remember? Small Plate Metal. That's what we want. Large. Good. All right, nothing else. These solid ones, however, they're good, but heavy as shit. Okay. Pan. Arrows. Cup. Okay. Does this thing go pretty deep or what? I don't know. It's warm in here, though. That's good. I'll take it. Is this, like, just a fun little treasure? Oh! Shit. Okay. Yeah! There may be treasure, but there are also terrible dudes as well. Look at this, Carjo. More fucking robots. I hope you're not tired of our robot adventures, because we got a fuck ton more to go through. <laughs> uh, 
Iron ore, good. A gyro. Bent metal. So many arrows here. Pick into this. Oops. Okay. There we are. What have you got? Five gold and a gear. Okay. Anything else? Iron ingot, very valuable. Iron ore, even more valuable. Silver ore, kind of valuable. You can still send that up to gold, right? Dwemer cup. Okay. What was this? Like a Dwemer break room or whatever? Moonstone. Good. A fork. Giant pan. You know, they have all these, like, pans and skillets and shit. But where, what do they cook them on? Right? Where's their oven? Where's their stovetop? What are you doing, Dwemer? I guess they all disappeared before they could make that advancement. <laughs> they made all the cooking wear before they <laughs> they made, like, what, what the fuck to, like, heat it on. <laughs> Good lord. They just have, like, my god, the Dwemer, all of these amazing vessels, but really nothing to do with them, right? Oh, look, we've got all these cups and shit, but no running water yet. Oh, the mystery of the Elder Scrolls. All that forbidden knowledge cursed. Oh, they were all cursed and cursed like nobody's business to just make loads of amazing cooking vessels, but nothing to fill them with, nothing to heat them on. Oh my gosh, they were ready to make like an amazing bunt cake. Amazing bunt pan, incredible, no stick. Just immense technology, but no oven. <gasps> the curse of the Dwemer. <laughs> There we are. What's in here? Soul gem, potion, scroll. Gotta level up. Okay. Amethyst, more metal. Okay. Yo, how deep does this go? Hey, look. Our little unit is actually guiding us around in here. Maybe we're meant to be in this, right? Our little doodar. Or iron. I'll take it. Take all these. Silver. An inkwell. Some gold. What is this? They were like trading iron and all that. Huh. Iron for gold. Ooh, it's a pokey doke. Okay. Uh oh. Got a robot lord. Okay. Let's see. We can get him. Yeah! Oh, shit, you did the same thing. Jeez! Cut that shit the fuck out! There we go. Whew. Heal up a bit. What does this do? More pokey dokes? Yep. Jeez. I guess if they didn't like who was going through there, their next customer or whatever, could just give them the pokes. How cruel the Dwemer were. Take their bolts and stuff. Turn on the lights here. Got a little plate. Urn. Fart pipe. Lovely. Okay. There we go. You know, for a bunch of people who love, you know, sweet music, tonal shit, right? They've got these tonal puzzles. They sure do have a lot of, like, noisy shit as well, right? Just, like, gears and stuff going, like, clack, 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 clack. Steam bursting everywhere. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Their eyes! <laughs> Why'd they put him in their eyes? All right, sure. Uh, does it ever stop? I don't know. Maybe we have to become ethereal and go through to deactivate it. Or I could probably just pass through, right? I don't know. Or does this count as four jets at once, so it's like ultra-powered? Let's just become ethereal. Let's see. Got a switch back here. There we go. But Karjo doesn't mind. Karjo welcomes it. Spell Tome, Lesser Ward. Okay. Get into this. What have we got? Any goodies? There we are. Good. Okay, wow, look. A whole bunch of religious amulets. Okay, I need that, actually. A bowl? Turn on the light here. Silver ore, scrap. 
Another arrow. Another bit of iron up top. Lovely. Just level some of this stuff up, right? Seems like a good move. Oh shit, look at this. Ooh, cool. Oh shit, okay. Let's see. I don't know if I ever entered here from this ah. route. I'm not sure. I remember it being a lot more claustrophobic the way that I would normally enter this place. I don't know, I'm kind of for it. Entering through a way I'm not accustomed to. But yeah, I remember it being like a lot more claustrophobic and there being a lot more mood lighting. And kind of spooky shit. Right? Grab that. There we go. We can still explore the other route on our way back out or whatever. Okay. Quick save. Do some of this. Oh, this goes to Skyrim. Okay. Well. <laughs> did we get everything of value in here? I think we did, right? Consider it cleared. Eh. Sure. Oh, look, we can't enter again. Oh, you can only enter with the flames. How fucked up is that? Jeez. Okay. Eh, yeah, there's a Dwemer for you. Okay. But you can open it on both sides, so we don't need to worry about keeping it closed like that, right? Just have to worry about the fire. Okay. Back out. There we go. Got some kind of fucking saber-tooth lion. Saber-tooth cat. Saber-tooth creature. I don't know. Something bad. Ooh, is it pooping? <laughs> what? <laughs> what is that? What? <laughs> did it poop? Oh god, I think it did. Ugh. There you go. What is this? It's some kind of weird saber cat poop. Oh, it shit out an entire goat. Whoa. <laughs> okay, we'll take all that. Here, Carjo, I'm encumbered again. Guess what's new? Okay, let's see. Let's sprint over to Carjo here. Kajit guards your back. Listen to the, our voices and stuff sure echoing off of, of the back, high walls here. Very cool, right? Okay, sort by weight. You take all this junk. There we are. Take all the ore and stuff as well. Cool. Thanks, dude. We follow that. Okay, is there anything that we should investigate on this end? Before we head out the chasm? Nah. Alright, fair enough. Keep our whirlwind sprint at the ready. And we can speed right along. Anything hidden up here? Nah. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. Nah! Is this actually gonna take us anywhere nice, or should we re-enter the tower? I think we should maybe re-enter the freaking tower, right? Yeah, if anything, we went in reverse here, right? Hmm. I think we should be able to get back up from down here, though. Like, I think the tower there was a way for you to enter from the, f from the ground floor and work your way up. At least it seems that way. Still, we can cut through this. Well, no! Nah! Oh. Fucking frost troll my ass. Good lord. Okay. Can we scream them off the side here? I want to do that. I want to scream them right off the freaking side. Look at this fucking frost troll. Look, I'm ready. Well, I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready yet. Hang on. I'm not ready yet. Almost. Almost. Boost. Boost. Boom! Please get the fuck out. There we go. Right down the hole. Oh, got him. Love it. Oh. Okay. How the fuck do I get up? <laughs> okay. I think we need to go back around over here. Is that Karjo? Oh, uh, was Karjo trying to show me which way to go? Sorry, Karjo. I'm like a fucking idiot. I, can't, <laughs> I don't know anything. Let's see. Up here? Around the right? Oh, look. Hey, some sweet ore. Let's give this a pick. Real quick. Shout down some salmon real fast. There we go. Sucked it all up. 
Lovely. Let's get our sprint active as well. Good. Okay, now let's follow the scaffolding that the adventurer crew erected and all that, right? Good thing Prior Mabel doesn't ever get cold and junk, right? Shit. Horsepower. Never freeze. Okay. Down and around here. Alright. Gosh, yeah, I love this stuff. We were... We saw stuff like this at the other Big Dwemer ruin, right? For the Thieves' Guild. All the scaffolding. I love it. It's so cool. The verticality of it. Alright. As it turns out, I guess, when you don't have it to where your player can just jump all and levitate all over the place, the verticality takes on a bit more of an interesting <laughs> dynamic, right? When you can't just levitate across all of the, the cool level design. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. Let's turn this on. Oh my god, I regret it! Ugh! We should have never done that, Karjo. Oh God, I can't see now for real. Just blind my eyes in real life. Fuck. Oh God, it's so bright. Is this from the special edition? They turned up the fucking gamma or brightness or whatever? Oh God, will it ever end? Jesus Christ. Oh, how much longer do I have on this hell? Oh, it's really bad there. Okay. My eyes are adjusting, I think. Oh, but oh, some parts are really fucking rough. Yeah, the worst part is that it's like pulsating with intensity, right? Depending on which which part we look at. Knapsack. Sun's height. We've read this before in a different game. Carrot. I'll munch it. Take that. Okay. Sula's journal. Thank goodness we get the... <laughs> they dim the lights for this. Okay, Sula's journal. <clears throat> Who is Sula again, the main leader? I forget. I remember they had a very imperial surname, right? Whoever the leader was. We tried to get through Glacier at the top, but we couldn't find any way into the t that tower parapet. Yag spotted in the glacial wall and construction... What? Yag spotted in the glacial wall and construction of a catwalk was finished just in time for a storm to hit. Oh, it's a typo, I see. At first, we thought to wait it out, but it has only gotten worse. A shift in the glacier took out several of the new laborers. Good God, it killed them. I ordered everyone to quickly move as much of the supplies as we could into the fissure, and we managed to get most of it. One of the hands decided he wasn't going to listen and tried to make it out of the, out through the storm but got blown off the catwalk by the wind. Jesus. Looks like we are well and truly stuck in here. But for all that, I feel even more driven that I should be the one to uncover the mysteries of this ruin. Yeah, fuck your laborers. Fuck your workers. Who cares? Let them die. <laughs> you need the glory. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm tired of all the credit for my work going to the mages or the legion. It will be my name that goes down in the history books for this discovery. Ooh, and the pages are left to be written. Okay. Anything else around here? Bedroll. Neat. And it's technically an interior. Oh, God. Man, what the hell happened? There's blood everywhere. Oh, yeah, this is the spooky part I remember. I just don't remember it being so fucking bloody. Ugh. A loot? Oh, God. <laughs> the Kaimar of Imidium? We've read that before. Look at this. The rooftops. The parapets? I don't know. I don't think the actual, like, roofing is the parapet, but the, like, tower structure itself, I think. Don't quote me on it. As I explained. Oh god, this was a mistake. Why did I do it again? <laughs> Why did I light the light up again? Alright, we're just gonna have to race through. What is it? I know you were trying to keep it for yourself, Chizar. You always try to keep it for yourself. No, there's got to be more school. Shut up! Shut up! Don't lie to me, Chizar. You 
Oh shit. Okay. Look over here. God, ugh, it's really bad right there. <laughs> I hope they can't hear me just wincing in pain at my own little magic light. Okay. So far, stealth mode a major success. I like this. You can tell that it's getting warmer as you go down and all that because of all the steam and junk, right? It's melting the ice. More and more the deeper you get. Okay. Dwarven spider, ebony ore, common soul gem, good. All right. Anything else around here? And look, this fell from the the top, huh? Gotcha. Okay. Anything else? Oh, look, there's a little tiny set of cubby holes up here. Anything good in that? No. All right, fair enough. Let's see. Yeah, it's not warm, but it's not cold either right here. We're kind of keeping it even keel. All right. That looks foreboding. Anything over this direction? Oh, God! Shit! <laughs> it psyched me out! <gasps> Fuck! Oh. Jeez! There we go. Alright. Yeah, let's just march in loud and proud, maybe? Well, no, because we might miss some of the talk between these two dudes looking for skooma, right? Should we head back up this direction? Let's see. Where's Do we have clairvoyance bound? No, we do not. Let's see. Let's see which direction Clairvoyance wants us to go. And then we'll go the opposite direction. Ooh, okay. Sure. Let's go this way then. Alright. Look at all this. Treasure. Stuck inside of some of that junk. Spider Lord. Bunch of goodies. Dwarves, Volume 2. A gem, research notes, relevant. If only Umana would have left one of these dwarven machine creatures intact for me to study. The fact that they almost killed those Khajiit brothers in the middle of the night doesn't mean we couldn't have found a way to disable one. We dragged some stuff out. We dragged some stuff in front of the pipes they came out of to stop them from coming back. They are simply fascinating. It is just as Calselmo described in Dwarves Volume 2. Their appearance does in fact resemble that of an arachnid. I had thought that to be an embellishment given by his source. The inclusion of the soul gem into the design of the apparatus is quite remarkable. It could explain the focus of the light for the lightning that he describes. Oddly enough, it doesn't appear to be the main power source for the apparatus. Ah, there we go. Stuff we were ruminating on before. Perhaps some sort of harmonic resonance with the energies contained in the soul gem to bring the heat to a small boiler. Too easily to say conclusively. That does raise the question of where they get the liquid for the boiler, however. Hmm. That was strange. I thought I saw something moving behind the barred door. It looked vaguely humanoid. I wonder what it could be. An undiscovered automaton. I'm going to move my bedroll down here to see if I can catch another glimpse of it. This is all so exciting. I like how they write that down as well. Right in the moment. Okay, soul gem fragment. What have you got? Another gem. Okay, good. A lot of blood. Whole lot of blood. This might be a quick exit here. Okay. Bedroll. Good. Anything else in this little section? I don't think so. This dude also, the researcher. Kind of a dick, right? Kind of a, a dick not caring one way or the other for the safety of people in their own group. Is it that all of them are some different kind of dick? I don't know. Maybe the one that they're always all poke, uh, picking on. Uh, they're like, I don't know, muscle? What's her name? Umana? Maybe she's actually the only one who is, like, kind-hearted amongst them. 
There we go. Heal on up. Take all this. Okay. That said, I don't know, was the first journal necessarily, like, rude? Toward Umana or Umama? Umama. <laughs> I don't think that was it. I don't know, calling someone a brute isn't, isn't exactly great, right? There's better, nicer ways to say, like, oh, this person is, like, strong as shit, right? Okay. Ultimate healing. Good. Oh, look, little bits of money. Treasure. Silver and Moonstone Circlet. Someone just came back into this corner, bled a whole shitload, and got the hell out. <laughs> what happened? They didn't die here in this corner. They just kind of, like, ugh, barfed up loads of blood. Ugh, jeez. I bet it smells fucking bad. So much blood everywhere. All right. Oh, shit. Good lord. I, at this point, it's fucked up. I'm just... <laughs> I'm not expecting oh, that. <laughs> oh, look, look out, Karsho, I almost got you. Good. Alright. Soul gem, oil. Good. I like all these little lit torches and stuff, right? Fun for the level design. Oh. Who is this, brother? Another of the smooth skins looking for food? But this one wasn't trapped with us. No. Hmm? Does he say something different if you're, like, a Argonian or Khajiit? That's all you've got? <laughs> Karsha was the first one to, to hit. Okay. There you go. There we go. I hope they weren't surrendering there, Karsha. Take that. Okay. Huh. Man, they brought a woodcutter's axe here? Is that what they were picking through the ice with? A woodcutter's axe? I don't know. It seems a little ill-prepared. Oh, God. He was hacking him up! Why did he, like, lose his mind like that? Was it the skooma? Did he have, like, the skooma sickness or what? Jazar's journal. Let's see, which one is Jazar? Is it you? Yeah. This one is at his wit's end. I signed Jadar and myself up for this expedition to try and get him clean of the skooma. I brought a small supply to try and bring him down slowly, but the storm has had us trapped in the glacier for weeks. The others have not yet caught on that that one with fur should not shake so much for the cold, but I've run out of the little skooma I brought. And Jadar is getting pretty bad. He started hallucinating creatures coming out of the ice and the ruins. The others are starting to think he may be behind Veili's disappearance. But I know he would never do something like that. Hmm. Ooh, empty skooma bottle. I should take one at least, right? As a souvenir? Okay. Anything else around here? Got a little saw area. Maybe they were chopping up their wood for, like, the supports and all that, right? Give them the benefit of the doubt. Okay. Can I take this last gold piece? Yeah. Okay. Good. We're still missing quite a few bodies from their team, though, right? Unless he ate them. Thinking that they were made of skoom skoom. Let's see. Bent Dwemer scrap metal. We'll take all that. Large strut. Too heavy. Umana's journal. Here we go. It's been about a week since Veili went missing, and now Endrast is gone too. We found blood leading over to the barred off doorway, but Sula seems to think that they found a way through, and that they are trying to cut him out of the discovery. He keeps saying that we need to press on, managed to break through into the into another section of the ruins, an animunculory, where the dwarves would produce their automatons. We learned the hard way that the metal creatures are still alive in there, and it hasn't improved Yag's mood at all. 
She holds that the Khajiit brothers aren't involved with the disappearances and has been keeping a hard eye on Sula. The rations have all but run out, and we are going to have to decide soon whether to brave the storm or try to push further into the ruins. I don't know if the echoes of screams I've heard in my sleep are those of our missing comrades, or my own nightmares. Yeah, it's so fucking spooky as shit, huh? I kinda like it. Playing up the horror. Okay. I think it's safe to turn on the lights now, right? We're not gonna get fucking blinded. <laughs> okay. Equip our big battle axe. Good. Get some robot lords popping out any second now. Huh? Oil spilled everywhere in here. Alright, yeah. Come on. Let's rumble. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Alright. Let's see. Let's get a little bit of healing going on here. Hmm. Take some extreme healing for now. Up, oh, up and over. Gotcha. Good. Let's top ourselves off while Karja works. Good. Get this back out. Yep. Good. A shame that there's no, like, execution animation for any of the automatons, right? Would love to have seen some of those. Damn, two units of solid metal on that asshole. Okay. Grab some of these. Good. Okay. Let's heal on up. Good. <laughs> what is this even for? Woo! <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, look. I bet we can get up here. Oh, it's a secret platforming event. Oh, I'm excited. What magical treasures do we think await? <gasps> dun, 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 dun. Flawless Emerald, Ultimate Healing, Elixir of Strength, Ingots. Ah, oh, a whole bunch of amulets as well. Neat. Another chest here. An Ebony Dagger, a flawless diamond. Iron Sword of Frost. Eh, the value to weight ratio on that is Garbo. I mean, we'll take... Should we take the dagger? Nah, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. We're not in... Yeah, we don't really need money right now. Okay. More valuable if we find stuff we can convert into... Skill points or whatever. XP. Boom! Ooh. I don't think I'm supposed to be here yet. <laughs> Let's do a quick save. Yeah, I, <laughs> I think this is, uh... <laughs> yeah, let's go down. I think we're gonna loop around up there. Okay. There we are. Thought I saw a trap. But look, it's ready to blow. Let's see. Let's get this out. Wow, nothing came out of that one? Okay. This one, surely. Wow, really? Oh, there you are. Okay. Do I have any, like, fire blast? No, I don't. Hmm. Do I have, like, a fire breath, maybe? Let's see. Magic. Where's my fire breath? There we go. Okay. Hmm. What other shit should I use here? Hmm. I'm not sure. Because our... Our Fusero Da does not do well against yeah! them. I think maybe the fire breath is is the best bet here, right? There we are. Good. Ooh, everything's blowing up. Ooh, fuck. Thank goodness you can't get like tetanus from them, right? Okay. It's oil. Soul gem, more oil. Turn the lights on. Oh, is this an actual crafting thing? Wow, it is. Okay. Cool. Huh. Could I actually use this to 
Yeah, I could make a camping supply here if I wanted, but I need three firewood and a leather. And I don't think we're going to find any of that in here. Okay. Let's see, anything else? I mean, on the off chance that we do, it could be handy. Hey, look, a little leg. I'll take all that. Okay, anything else? More junk? There's piles of rocks. Where does it even come from? I don't know. <laughs> look, there's so much more rocky debris here than there is places where rocky debris is missing, huh? As the dwarves disappeared, rocks manifested in their place. An entire mountain appeared out of nowhere when all those dwarves vanished. <laughs> okay, got some cups. There we are. Good. I love this. Perfect. What's in here? Healing, stamina. We'll leave that. Wait, I don't... Yeah, okay, I've already learned that one. Okay, this one. Oh, Shazbot. Ugh. Okay. Please. Oh, thank goodness. Stamina. Cool. Yep, all the cups. Delightful. Plates. Nothing to put your food on. <laughs> right? They've got all these plates! What are they cooking? What are they eating? <laughs> Where's their food come from? All these plates, all these cups. No faucets. Good lord. Oh my god, I brought I bought the 20th commemorative anniversary set of cups from the Dwemer Emporium celebrating the day when we drove back the Nords from Red Mountain with Lord Nerevar or whatever the hell. Oh, but honey, we don't yet have any way to drink. What will we drink? Oh no! <laughs> We're gonna disappear! <laughs> Good lord. The realization of their folly. Yeah! Chow down on some sand. Moonstone. Alright. Which way should we go here? Should we check with clairvoyance which way we should go and go the opposite again? I kind of liked that. That was a good idea. What the fuck was that? Alright. To the left. Oh, there's a little dude down there. Okay. Yo! Explosive blast. Yep. Ah! There we are. Lovely. Let's turn on the lights here as well. What have you got? Anything? Some oil? Maybe they were just drinking the oil. I don't know. Maybe that's why all their creatures have oil on them. Not because, you know, they're machines and they're trying to keep them well oiled so they're not all, like, loud and scratchy, right? But because they just ate it themselves and they were trying to feed their own creatures. Who can say? You know why I will say? Maybe y'all shouldn't have put so much fucking oil on your little automatons and put some more on these, like, loud-ass gears. I don't know, maybe the sounds of the gears are part of the joy, right? Maybe it sounds good to him. I don't know. He's Dwemer. They got some odd taste and good sounds. Doesn't sound like no fucking tonal mastery in me. Sounds like a whole bunch of trash just going like... Good God. This isn't even one of the louder places, huh? Over here. What have we got? Ooh, sounds like a roly-poly. No sign of him, though. Got a little undercarriage there. Spy on the enclave under there. Let's turn on the lights again. Anything? Nah. Okay. What's up in here? Oh, this dude is definitely in here. Let's do a quick save. Pick inside. All fairly low lock levels, by the way, you notice? Make it accessible for... Players, I guess, who may be coming in here at low levels, just doing the main quest or whatever. I'm surprised they didn't have it to where the lock levels scale up. I don't know, maybe they do. And we just happen to get them this way, or something like that. I have no idea. Okay. Bolts. Good. Oh, we are cold right now, actually. Just occurred to me. 
Okay, anything else here? Metal. More metal. Here, Karsho, take one, will ya? Khajiit guards your back. I will shoulder some of your burden. Okay. How about you take all this junk? There you go. Yeah, Karjo can carry all this stuff. Good man. Let's see, what else do we have here? We can get rid of these bolts as well. Did we pick up armor and junk? Oh no, it's all of the oil and stuff that's weighing us down too. Right. Let's get rid of these. Okay, good. We follow them. Getting a little sleepy, actually. Should we seize this opportunity to snooze right here? Yeah, we probably should. Let's do it. Okay. Let's go for... I mean, we'll need to go for 12 hours or whatever, right? Because we're going to be underground for like a million years, right? Okay. Cool. Actually, you know what? Hey, this is a great time to call it, right? Jeez. Oh, look, we got a little cold here just as well. All right. Well, when next we come back, we will continue deeper into the ruins of Althand, looking for love in all the wrong places, fighting more robots, and eventually we'll encounter some of those creatures. Do we ever find all the bodies of the expedition crew? I don't know. How many bodies have we seen so far? We saw one outside, but I don't think they were part of the crew, were they? One outside under that, like, blown-over tent, and then the two Khajiit brother laborers as well. I think they're the only ones we've seen thus far. I can't remember exactly how it plays out. And you know what? Looking forward to f remembering, huh? Until next time, please take care of each other.